Hi, this is Nancy White, and this is a little introduction of me for the, North, for the network weaving community of practice. I decided instead of a video that I'd experiment with a tool called Screener and use the wonderful pictures that others have taken of me and pictures from my family on Flickr, a photo sharing site, as a way to tell you a little bit about me. So it's a name tag in a, in a really completely different way. Now if you search on Nancy White and Flickr, you're going to see lots of pictures. And some of them are me, but some of them aren't me. Because it's very interesting with a very common name like Nancy White, you'll find that I'm not Nancy White the folk singer, though I wish I was because she has a fabulous voice, but even more important, she's got an amazing sense of humor and is very creative. I'm also not Nancy White Carlstrom the book author, the real estate agent, the painter. I'm Nancy White who lives in Seattle, Washington. And this is one picture of me taken by my friend Chris Krug, a photographer from Vancouver, that I actually like. So. As I show you these other pictures, sometimes it feels a little weird because I don't always like pictures of me. But I thought I'd share the one I really liked. I live in Seattle, and this is an unusual shot out of my office window because it doesn't snow like this in Seattle very often. But I live and work in a beautiful place. I work at home, and I get to look out on a lovely neighborhood north of the University District when I'm working each day. I was born in California, so yes, I'm a California girl, lived there till I was 10 years old, but I don't have long blonde hair, so I, I'm, I'm not a surfer girl. I'm a very family-oriented person, and this is my husband, Larry, without whom I could live, that was poor English, but whom I adore, and my two sons, Christopher and Alexander, who probably wouldn't appreciate this photo from a few years ago. I'm also a grandmother, and this has been a life-changing thing for me. You won't see pictures of my granddaughter online, though, because we're respecting her parents' wish for digital privacy. And that's one thing we need to think about when we're weaving networks. I'm not a fancy person, even though I've got a fancy hat on. But seeing some of these pictures will give you some idea about me. Sometimes I can be a bit of a fluffy bunny head. Yep, that's true. Some people say sometimes I'm an ass. Yeah, that's true, too. I think people would agree that I'm not reserved and that in fact sometimes I'm a bit of a show-off. Yeah, that's true. I can even be a clown and I find humor actually a very important way of being together and working together as you can see when I work with my colleagues. So with the network weaving community I get to work with John and June and I have this lovely international network of folks that we might tap some of these people as we go through the network weaving experience. And I really adore them and respect them. Some people say I can be bossy, and yes, that's true. Sometimes that helps getting things done, and sometimes you need to tell me to back off. So I invite you to tell me to back off. Some people say, oh, Nancy's a geek because she's been involved with online facilitation issues since 1996. And I'd call myself more of a proto-geek. I'm interested in the intersection between technology and process. So I'm interested not just in technology for its own sake, but how we use it productively together. I'm also interested in people taking power to be technology stewards for their communities. These are the technology stewards for the World Cafe community. And when we started out, Juanita over here actually was afraid of technology. But we've empowered each other to really move forward. And Amy now has done this amazing job of, of stewarding the technology. I also like to draw on walls. I'm what's known as a graphic facilitator. And I find this practice just unleashes a whole new kind of listening and the role of visuals both online and offline I think is an incredibly important part of our communities and networks so it's a piece I hope to bring to the table. Now what everybody agrees about me is that I'm, I love chocolate. I'm also known online as Choco Nancy and you can also see that I'm really excited and happy to be part of the network weaving community of practice. So I look forward to seeing you online. If you want to know more about me, the book I wrote with John Smith and Etienne Wenger, the, the site is technologyforcommunities.com. My website is fullcirc.com. And of course, we'll see you on the network weaving home site. I look forward to our interaction. Bye.